from coronavirus patient to survivor and now subject for scientific research. Alex Lustina is donating plasma to help save lives and to honour his wife, Annabelle. She died from COVID-19 in April before plasma from survivors was available. My wife needed that one also, but unfortunately, there's no available, well, there's no available yet because she's on that wait list. So if I can donate at least a plasma, then I could help someone out there that needed the plasma. Lustina says he still has a lingering cough and his taste hasn't come back. But scientists say he might have the antibodies that attack the virus. He's participating in an American Red Cross program. The organisation is collecting thousands of donations from COVID-19 survivors to use in hospitals across the country. Anthony Levesque is an emergency medical supervisor in New Jersey. He looked after his wife who had the virus. He then contracted it himself the same week he lost two colleagues to COVID-19. I didn't eat, I didn't have an appetite. I, I was very thirsty though when I wasn't sleeping. I probably slept for about 20 hours a day. It, it was harder emotionally than anything. Um, the one coworker that passed away, he left behind two children and I, I didn't want my kids to wind up in that predicament. I did learn in there, I will never take anything for granted again. Levesque is now hoping his plasma can help others, particularly those working on the front lines. The US Food and Drug Administration says there are no approved treatments of COVID-19. The use of plasma still needs to go through clinical trials before it can be routinely used on patients. For now, the agency is allowing the use of plasma from recovered COVID-19 patients in emergencies, meaning only those with life-threatening infections will have access. Hi. Hi. Can you please? Yes. With more than 2 million people in the US currently infected, tens of thousands of survivors are on the waiting list to donate plasma. Anita Kate is one of them. 98.4, you're all good. This is her first outing since overcoming COVID-19. That the more people that come together to help the cause, the quicker we can find a cure and help the world with it. So far, there is no cure for COVID-19. Scientists say plasma from people who've recovered could be the pathway to a vaccine. Danielle Robertson, CNA, Los Angeles.